Hello and welcome to our Vista lab. Uh, as you see, Vista is an acronym for Vibrio and Structure Analysis and that pretty much sums up most of the work we do in this lab. Uh, essentially, this lab deals with a lot of proteomics and protein work and some of the work involves looking into the structures of proteins from Vibrio Polyry. We somehow came to uh, discover or rather zoom on a protein which was known as a diagonal H cyclase. So the diagonal H cyclase that I was talking of has primarily a GGDEF motif, as in it has those amino acids in, in, the, in, that, in that particular active site. And what happens is a GTP comes and binds to this GGDEF motif region and converts itself to cyclic DIGMP. The mutants that we have, uh, that we have created in this lab, these mutants have different amino acid sequences in the GGDF motif and the different amino acid sequence carrying mutants have been found to not being able to bound, bind to GTP. This creates a situation wherein the Vibrio polyry cannot synthesize cyclic DIGMP and therefore it cannot uh, go through its uh, aquatic life cycle. We are also looking into other features like we are looking into microRNA and the structure of the sequential features that they possess which can give us a clue as to whether they would be essential or important in cancer related activity. So we have also designed an algorithm and a, and, 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 and a suite which is uh, which we, we, we call the micron. So the micron can successfully predict whether a particular microRNA is going to be a tumor suppressor or whether it is going to be aiding in the tumor genesis process. We are also into natural therapeutics and uh, we have looked into the therapeutic properties of both plants as well as animal products from the coastal shores of Goa and in the other parts of the Indian Ocean. So what we have done is we have looked into the therapeutic properties of the leaves of Moringa olifera. So the leaves of Moringa olifera have been found to be crucial in uh, decreasing the levels of serum creatinine in patients who have high levels of serum creatinine and has also been seen to be effective against some lung cancer cell lines as well as against some melanoma cell lines. On the other hand, we are also looking into one of the very important and uh, precious gift that we have got on our shorelines, which is known as the horseshoe crab. And this horseshoe crab, which is a very primitive organism, as in it has some of it has been termed as a living fossil, has a number of properties which are like going to be aiding in the proliferation of uh, hair follicle cells, dermal papilla cells, and other uh, places where it might be needed. We have a lot, number of collaborations, uh, notable among them being uh, the one we have with Max Delbruck Centrum in Berlin in Germany, who are our hosts and who help us in doing a lot of the diffraction studies in Berlin. We also work with uh, people in IIT Roorkee as well as in IIT Kharagpur. So none of this would have been possible had we not had great lab members. So I am really grateful to Ram, Om Prakash, Divya, Dhiren, who, are, uh, who have got their PhDs from the lab and uh, I'm also looking forward to great contributions from our present lab members, not just the PhD scholars but also the thesis and project people who are working with us and we hope to be of more use to mankind in the near future.